Yo, hey, this shit hey. easy, nigga. Hey, I'm talking about, nigga. I'm still out here trying to get it. Contender regime boxing checking back in with y'all man. What's happening? Hope everybody doing well out there Jamal Charlo versus Dennis Hogan is going down this Saturday September 7th on Showtime if you don't have access to Showtime you can watch the um, uh, It's they got a seven-day trial going on where you can stream the fight. So, um, you know, check this fight out, man I think it's gonna be a, a decent fight decent scrap um, You know, I really like I like Dennis Hogan, man. Uh, you know, I really felt bad for him um, for his last outing against uh, Jaime Mangia. I really felt like he won that fight. To be honest with you, he had the better fight. He did everything he needed to do to win that fight other than knock Jaime Mangia out. Um, I think he was just overall the better boxer. And that was his opportunity for a title. And it is, I mean, it sucks that, you know, they, they, they really stripped that man away from his, you know, his victory. I feel like Dennis Hogan did a lot in that fight. He did a lot of things well, and he really exposed Jaime Munguia in that fight. You know, and I felt real bad for the dude, but it's a beautiful thing that, you know, um, he's getting a, yet another opportunity, which he greatly deserves um, at a title versus Jamal Charlo. Um, I think this is going to be a good scrap, man, because you got of course, you got Jamal Charlo, very strong fighter in his prime right now, a uh, very skilled fighter, um, ring, high ring IQ, uh, uh, very powerful. I mean, power in both hands. The brother really can do it all, you know what I'm saying? And he's getting better every fight. I am seeing some improvements in Jamal Charlo, seeing uh, different wrinkles in his game. I'm just ready to see him get opportunity to face the the um, Canelo Alvarez's of the world, you know, the the Aries Landy Lauras, the Demetrius Andrades, and the Billy Joe Saunders of the world, those type of guys. I'm really anxious to see him in the ring versus these top guys. Of course, a lot of politics in boxing, but that's neither here nor there. Now, um, the fight itself, man, um, like I said, it's going to be a good scrap. Jamal Charlo really has every physical advantage over Dennis Hogan, but that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, he's going to win a fight just because of those things. I think it's more so to do with the with the talent level and just the, the raw skill. Um, and, you know, and like I said, the ring IQ and, and the mentality and intelligence in the ring, I think that's definitely going to play a big part as well. But I think Dennis Hogan is one of those guys who not going to lay down. You've seen that in the Jaime Munguia fight when everybody was claiming that Jaime Munguia was some monster, some ultimate destroyer who was just going to run through Dennis Hogan and anybody else that stepped in his way. And we've seen that that wasn't necessarily true. You know, so Dennis Hogan, uh, guy never been, a guy that's never been stopped before from Ireland, got that Irish uh, strength, that Irish mentality, very strong-minded and, you know, uh, very strong-willed, and he goes out there to fight. You know, he ain't no hoe. He ain't going to back down. So um, he was pushing Jaime Munguia back in that fight, a guy that was bigger than him, just like Jamal Charlo is going into the ring as a bigger man. Um, I believe um, um, Dennis Hogan is like 5'8". Uh, Jamal Charlo is right, right at right at six feet tall. You know, just a bigger frame. You dig what I'm saying? But like I said, I like Dennis Hogan, man. I like his 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 heart, his grit, and he has really good boxing ability. He has fit, uh, fast hands, pretty quick on his feet as well, and he's pretty defensively responsible. So, um, you know, I really believe that he's gonna go in there and give it his best effort. And for a few rounds in this fight, I think it he might be a little scrappy. Um, he might you know, pose a little awkwardness to uh, Jamal Charlo in a couple of rounds of the fight. But I think ultimately, you know, Jamal is just, like I said, overall better fighter, just more naturally talented. And I think he's going to go in here and ultimately have, um, you know, a, a, a very, very exciting and highlight reel type of victory. Um, you know, I think this is one of those fights where you, where Jamal Charlo gets back into the, the knockouts, that we know him for. Um, and it would be very impressive to knock out Dennis Hogan, a guy who hasn't been stopped. And he's been in the ring with guys who are known knockout artists like Jaime Munguia, you know? Um, so, you know, I, I definitely think it'll be very impressive if Jamal Charlo is able to go in there and knock this dude out. 
you know, but I really believe that he has that ability. Um, I, I see the mean streak in Jamal Charlo, and I, I believe that he really wants to go in here and prove a point in his second title defense as the reigning WBC middleweight champion of the world. So um, I'm excited about this fight, man. And it, it happens on the same night as um, Andy Ruiz, Anthony Joshua, too. You know, so I will be watching both fights and, and uh, you know, seeing what's going on, man. This fight comes on at uh, 9 p.m., I believe. I'm not sure if they're going to have an undercard fight um, or two or if it's just going to be the main event, you know, because it's going to be on Showtime sometimes. You know, they'll have like a just one fight as a the main event and that's it, you know. So if they do it like that, that's cool. That way we'll still be able to um, catch the Andy Ruiz and Joshua fight on the back end. Because, you know, the zone, they like to hold out their cards. You know what I'm saying? They, they stretch out. I don't know what they be doing, but it takes so long. And people blaming it on the MMA fight. Talking about, oh, they was waiting for MMA to finish. Man, previous the zone cards, they do the same thing. They For some reason, it, the... The car, the night takes so damn long for them to zone fights. I don't understand what be going on, but you know, so we should have a chance to catch both fights without having to sacrifice one or the other. You dig what I'm saying? So, um, y'all let me know what y'all think about this fight down in the comments, man. How y'all feel about uh Dennis Hogan? Well, what y'all think about the matchup and what do y'all want to see next for Jamal Charlo, man? I I really want to see him get in there with the top guys in his next fight, man. I don't know what's holding up the Demetrius Andre fight. Um, I, uh, Jamal Charlo has said multiple times that he's willing to go over there to the zone for a one fight deal. You know, I don't know what's going on with that, man. Let's get this guy in the ring. We already know Canelo Alvarez don't want no smoke, but that's neither here nor there. Y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Contender regime boxing. I holler, y'all boys, man.